How's it going, everyone? This is the this is TJ Kuno bringing you a personal rig update of my rig called Name the Bob East. Um, it's been about a year since I built this thing, so it was due time for a coolant flush and among other things. As you can see here, my uh, Bay Reservoir LED burnt out, so I'll probably get that replaced on my next um, coolant flush. I moved my one terabyte that was traditional hard drive into this slot here. And then my DVD burner conked out on me, so I opt to upgrade to a combo drive. It's an HD DVD, DVD Blu ray to dark drive. It reads HD DVDs, but it also reads Blu ray discs, but also burns Blu ray discs as well. And also it does DVDs as well, too. In this bay, I added a Kingston HyperX 240GB hard drive, S oh, not hard drive, 240GB SSD. And I have put all my games, Steam games and whatnot, onto this. It's strictly just games. So, all my games load a lot faster now. And last but not least, I put the medium memory card reader on the bottom slot of my um, drive base for one one reason. It's to give room for what I have put in this area. If you, if you recall my last uh, Bobby video, uh, I have a 140 radiator in push pull configuration with cougar fans and those fans didn't have any any leds but now with this upgrade i now have a bit phoenix specter pro 200 millimeter fan in there in push pull configuration for a new radiator i added up i'll show you that in just a little bit Going on to the cable management side. <clears throat> okay, I put my boot drive back in the back here now, so that's where I have it mounted through Velcro and Great things with uh, SSDs and Velcro, and I mount them anywhere you want. Added another SSD here for cache filing. Um, SanDisk S100, uh, X100 SSD, it's a 120 gig hard drive. I have it partitioned in half, so I'm only using half of it as my page file system. Another half is nothing. So I'll probably switch over to that once that reads and writes are gone bad on the first partition. Glance over here. Now the X uh, X and the Bips Power X Station cooling after module is now on this side of the, of the drive rack. It used to be underneath here, but I mounted it over here now, so I have now hit it and also it makes room for what what I put down there, and as you can see, this is the uh, hidden line coming from the bay reservoir down to the pump, at the bottom of the little case. And I'll go ahead and go to the other side here. There's not much else to see on this side. Oh, I did improve my cable management as well. I've been, I bought from Frozen CPU some uh, Molex splitters. So the four Bits Power Spectre Pro Phoenix 200 millimeter fans that are on now upgraded on the 400 millimeter radiator I have on top are all connected to this four four way splitter. And the fans on uh, the Cougar fans that I have for the 140 millimeter radiator. All right, hooked up to this uh, two-way splitter up here. So the 
definitely makes things much more tidier on cable management. And I'll give you a secret key right here. And if you can see on this side here, I have I've now added a third radiator. A Fovia 200 millimeter radiator, version two. And it's in push-pull configuration with a with two 200 millimeter Bix, uh, Bix, uh, um, 15 inch Spectre Pro um, case fans, and those fans are hooked up in with a Y splitter as well for Molex. And this one is hooked up to the LEDs are hooked up to the LED button I put on the top of the case, so now I can turn on and off the lights when I can. Moving on to the other side. Changed. I have changed the stock Cooler Master 200 millimeter fan on the panel window panel to the Pivia 200 millimeter fan. It does push more air and it's much quieter, so that's why I have to change it to that. <clears throat> Just airflow. I've taken out the case fans from the inside and put both on the outside for the one, uh, 140 millimeter radiator. I hooked it up to the back and that's going in the exhaust. Um, let's see. Still have the two, uh, the 32 gigabytes of RAM, uh, GDR 1866 RAM underneath that, uh, underneath that RAM cooler. Still cooling the Venom X2 6 core 1055T. It's now overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. And the highest I ever had it go up to is 51 degrees Celsius with this new setup. Uh, let's see. Also added a USB 3.0 add on card. Now I now I can actually use my uh, front header for USB 3.0. And I don't know if you can probably see that here. I barely have any leeway to fit that Molex plug in because of that heat sink that ASRock was put there. We're going to put a, a PCI Express slot there. And you expect someone to use it. Just give them some leeway. You know? That's my thought on it. Alright. So, you can see that big ass cable going back in there. So, uh, zoom it out. It's the best I can do for cable management for now. Well, with my current skills. I'm sure I'll probably learn something, some new tricks as the year goes along. Okay, and also I now have the pump facing differently. Now, so, 
shoulders up and over into that right angle into the 200 millimeter phobia version 2 radiator I really like this emblem way to go phobia looks nice much better than the, on the uh, older versions where it's just an imprint if you guys can sell the badges themselves I'll just slap one on that radiator that'd be great probably have to look online maybe you guys already do okay now it's just cabling underneath this uh, cabling hiding uh, hide away your cabling box lid and let's see so it goes from that radiator uh -oh. goes from that radiator on down through a coolant PCI pass-through here you can see that I have my drain lines on the outside of the case this time. And my going it hovers over the power the power line, but when I'm draining the thing, I won't have my system hooked up to power, so so kind of a prevention type of deal there. And okay, so it goes from that line all the way up to the 140 millimeter radiator and then back down to that slot <clears throat> and before this was all exhaust and this was all intake for cooler uh, coolants but now it's reversed so this is all cold uh, cold coolant going up this is the, all the heated coolant going out, so that's the exhaust, that's the intake. I also split up the split it up. I don't have a T adapter going in and then up to the radiator. And there's the coolant one going up to the heat killer water pump. And both exhausts are hooked up to a, a five-way splitter I put up there it in a way and it goes up to the 400 millimeter back out and into the reservoir <clears throat> so with the window kind of looks uh, <clears throat> let me go ahead and put the window on there back on. I don't know if it does for you guys, but for me it does. So, yeah. That's what I have done with it. Um, graphics cards are still overclocked to 932 MHz. And they hardly get past like 49 degrees. CPU highs I have gotten up to 51 degrees Celsius. guys please comment and rate tell me what you guys think and until next time I'll send you another video uh, probably I'm not sure probably another Bob Beast versus a uh, certain game at max settings game video would be next so but guys I'll catch you guys next time later